coming on another important topic that is measures of dispersion okay what are the measures of dispersion basically we have found out what our average is and what are the values which are around the average and how much stack scattered it is okay sometimes there is average is 5 and 6 7 2 3 3 3 6 7 so most of values are from 2 to 7 the range is 2 to 7 okay and if average is 5 and range is 1 to 10 so that means this is more scattered than this this 2 to 7 is less scattered than 1 to 10 we all see that 1 to 10 is more where more range is more and 2 to 7 range is less so how dispersed is the data how scattered is the data it can be found by the measures of the dispersion okay so the basic thing we have found here is range okay so range is one of the measures of dispersion okay the scattering of values around the central value is major of dispersion okay so basically we found the standard deviation how we found the standard deviation what is the formula of standard deviation once one standard deviation formula has been asked in the NSCB exam what is the formula of standard deviation so for the standard deviation first of all we have to find the mean okay if you found the mean and there are so many values for example 4 5 6 7 8 five values are there and we found the mean 4 plus 5 plus 6 6 5 5 for, um, 14 7 21 21 8, 29 29 29 upon 5 it is around 5.8 okay yes this is 5.8 so if mean is 5.8 so we subtract all values from the mean 4 minus 5.8 is 1.8 5 minus 5.8 is 0.8 6 minus 5.8 is 0.2 7 minus 5.8 is 1.2 8 minus 5.8 is 2.2 okay so then this x minus mean all values are squared okay 1.8 square 1.2 0.8 square, 0.2 square. For example, we, we found so many numbers here 2.56, 0.64, 0.04, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5
स्टैंडर्ड एरर इज मीन माइनस डिविएशन ऑफ ईच मीन फ्रॉम द मोर पॉपुलेशन मीन 